Hello and welcome back to another day and another episode on Court Farm Country Park. I am getting this tractor hooked up to a disc harrow um, because I need to cultivate the fields to get them ready for sowing. And I think the harrow is way back there in that shed. And yes, it's true. And I am going to enlist some help uh, doing this cultivation. So yeah, we're gonna have a worker uh, helping us. Um, and in the meantime, I'm gonna go that I'm gonna go get that go veil uh, bale unwinder that I've been talking about. I think in the previous episode, if I'm correct. Uh, so we can actually give our cows uh, bedding because this uh, shed doesn't take the um, the throwing one how should I say the spreader uh, and you actually have to unwind the bales to get your cows uh, bedding so yeah let me set this up with via GPS let's see Okay, sorry for the skip. Uh, I'm gonna start the worker over here. And it looks like it's... Yeah, of course, doing the worker thing, but... Yeah, it looks like it's gonna do its job... Well. And, yeah, let's leave him here. And now I want to get... You know what, before I go to the store, I need to uh, take the wool to our spinnery because it's all out of wool. And we need to restart production. And I think we have almost 4,000 liters of wool waiting at the sheep pen. Uh, well, we definitely have 4,000 liters of wool. <laughs> waiting for us at the sheep pen. Whoa. Almost drove into the benches. That would not be great. Okay. It looks like the sheep have been busy. I should have done this earlier, but yeah, I had so much work to do, I didn't get around to it. And I really need to make a path. I think I'm gonna create it in this episode, because we have so much money now, I can actually use it uh, to uplift the farm some and the surroundings and, you know, make things a little bit prettier. Okay, that's 2,000 liters and another 2,000 will be on the way. So that unwinder I'm talking about, I haven't used that before. Um, so I hope, <laughs> I hope I manage all right. It's just this so I can get around this bale they started accumulating and while I'm at the store I maybe could get the no I have to go it I have to go another time because I won't have any space to load it or yeah, uh, so I'm gonna take uh, buy a few big bags of pig food <coughs> because uh, our pigs can survive on corn only. And even though we sold most of them, we still have some for our uh, personal use. And 
yeah. I I think I'm gonna put the car trailer on the tractor that also has a front hitch. So front three point link, uh, and that way I can load uh, the unwinder on the front and have the trailer on the back, and I can bring back the pig food. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the plan. Yeah, and looking, looking at the use on this uh, forklift, it's gonna need a service sometime soon. But let me see. I think the Massey Ferguson has a front hitch, and of course it does. Okay, awesome. So let's go and realize the plan. And of course it's getting dark, so. Um, I am not gonna show you the cultivating of the fields, um, that's gonna be mostly worker and some by me, I, because I have to fix uh, the things that the worker can't get to. Okay, now that, yeah, I can't reach it, but of course a trailer like this you can move by hand, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Really? This is the... Really? This is the... This is the... Animation... For throwing this trailer on this tractor. Really? The hitch is over there. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Physics. <laughs> now I can't take it off. Oh, come on! No! Okay, that's awkward. Very awkward. Well, forget the plan. <laughs> I'm just gonna get the go veil uh, unwinder and I will be back. So we're gonna buy the go veil unbinder together so we can take a good look at what it actually is uh, what kind of settings it has and things like that uh, so I think it's under animals and if I remember correctly yeah this is it with a bale splitter bales can be fed directly into the barn and we can change design color, <clears throat> which changes the uh, writing. But I'm going to leave it as is. So it's 2150. Let's buy it. And while we are here, let's buy... Uh, what should we take? Four big bags of pig feed. Let me see if we have anything else. Nope. It's uh, big food. Let's take four. So that should last us for quite a while. And we're gonna get and load them with the car. <clears throat> because it looks like uh, the, uh, this tractor can't <laughs> load that. Now. Let's take the unwinder back to the farm. And put it straight to work. Because I want to make sure that the cows have bedding. I was neglecting them in this area. So yeah. I need to sort it out as fast as possible. And back on the farm. So in order to use this unwinder. We need to unfold it first. I think because that plate in the back is protective plate as far as I gather. So this plate, let me just quickly turn this off. 
This plate is a protector for um, the spikes, so you can take it on the road without, uh, you know, uh, without being dangerous. And if I unfold it, yeah, it takes off the active plate. Now we just simply reverse into a bale. Let's lift it up. Okay, can we... Okay, we can't move it anyway. <coughs> At least I think I can't. Uh, and then you have the tip side left or right. So I'm gonna keep it left because I think the trigger in this barn is on the left. And then you simply unload it. Yeah. Okay, and this is... This is the splitter working. So, if you imagine the bales are created by rolling grass, so it starts in the center and rolls, rolls, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and finally you have a full bale when you have enough material in it. And the unwider works uh, by rotating the bale in the opposite way that it was rolled, so it actually unwinds all the layers, layer by layer, slowly, and gets to the center, and then you don't have a bale anymore. So this is how uh, the real-life <laughs> unwinders uh, work, but uh, this one it uh, only animates the turning of the uh, spikes, and that is all. So let's see, uh, cows, 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 and they have four thousand, and they are gonna have five thousand liters of straw. And done. Okay, let's go get another bale. It's a fun little machine, especially in uh, tight quarters like this, where you can't really get in a big uh, uh, straw blower. And also, you, if you scoop it by bucket loads, you're gonna be doing that a long time, because one bale is 5,000 liters, and the bucket load, I think it takes 3,000. So, yeah. It's way faster and way easier doing this than actually going around with raw straw uh, or not raw but what's it called um, loose straw and then dumping it into the trailer into the trigger <laughs> my tongue is not working today I bumped on the barn no matter so yeah an interesting thing Okay, so the straw is filling up nicely. Let me quickly check <clears throat> how the worker is doing, and it looks like he's doing okay. Next field he's gonna cultivate is field 56, and then we're gonna take him to field 61. Uh, and just to remember, field 57 was barley, yes. Okay, so we have to plant something different. Let me just write this down so I don't forget. Field 56, barley. Uh, no, 57, I'm sorry, 7, 56 was corn, and field 61 was oats. So we might put corn into field 57, or we might put corn in field 61. Yeah, I think that's going to be a better choice. Or maybe we don't even plant corn. Okay, I'm gonna have to have a think about it. Uh, because before I wanted to use corn to actually feed our pigs. But uh, judging by the lack of pigs we have now, we don't need that much corn uh, for, you know, feed. Uh, so we may think about another crop, maybe something else. What can we use? Okay, the bale is finished. Let's go get another.
Come on, Rooster. You don't go away. You don't want to get hurt. And I... It looks like I'm gonna have to refuel this tractor. Okay. So, one thing we could do, because we don't really need uh, to get any straw. At least I think we don't, because we have so much straw in our barn. Uh, that we might even plant only one field of oats. Let's wait for the save. Yeah, maybe field 56 would be good for oats. And field 61, maybe. And then uh, we plant grass here. Because we do need more grassland um, since we are chronically running low on hay. I don't think we even have any. No, we are all out of hay. All we have is only straw in the barn, so yeah, uh, we need more grassland. And I could buy another field to get the grass, or maybe I could, even though field 10 looks very tempting, what's the price? Okay, <laughs> it's more than we have. I thought I have so much money, but yeah, it looks like I don't have so much money. Okay, this is reachable, so field 144 is very reachable, 188 is also very reachable. The only issue is these fields are quite far. Maybe 186, but this is small. So all grass production we did in the past was from field 40. and that's quite a big field but 188 yeah i may take a car and take a drive and go take a look at 144 and take a look at 188 um and then we can make a more informed decision about how to expand our farm and how are the cows looking okay they have almost full straw so i'm not gonna put any more in I think that's looking quite well. Um, cool. So we have a new piece of equipment on the on the farm, and it's an unwinder. So let me put the protection back on, and then we can drop it off in the barn, the shed. Or maybe on the other hand, so I'm thinking of different options we can actually do with uh, with our fields, with our future expansion. Uh, so the grassland we used was for silage and for... Okay, yeah, that's how it is. Uh, the grassland we used was for silage and for hay. So if we use one field of maize... To produce silage then we actually have more grass uh, to turn into hay so that might be that might also be a viable idea so let's let's look at this again we have field 57 this is a huge field field 56 would be good for silage because it's very close and field 61 would also probably be quite good for silage but yeah uh field 57 is way too big because i don't think uh, i can fit all that silage into our feed out of our bunker um because one field of 54 of grass so grass is not as a uh, tall crop as corn is and it may and it almost filled our bunker so Field 56, should we replant it? That's not the most recommended thing to do because if you replant your fields with the same crop that it was before previously, you are draining the soil. So, because the 
same plant uses the same minerals, the same amount of everything in the ground, and it depletes the soil. So that is not something you want to do too often. Maybe we could, uh, I don't know. Well, I'm going to have to have a think about this because uh, it's important uh, for our future. And if we are going to make corn silage, that would be, that I think would be better. Yeah, so in the meantime, while I do my pondering, um, I will go and collect that for those four bags of big food. And this should be close enough. It isn't close enough. Hey, okay, let's go. Okay, let me turn the car off and let's try and get these four bags in. I I have a vague memory that I tried to load four bags into this trailer and I couldn't fit them in. I just remember that now, so yeah, I hope I will be able to <laughs> fit all those in. If that's not the case, I'm gonna have to make two trips. But it would really be nice if I could make make it in one trip. Okay. So and I guess two of these bags on at the same time. Yup, I can. And let's put them right at the end of the tines. Uh, so that way I can actually reach over the wheel arches. Because this trailer has wheels outside of its uh, body. Yeah, it looks like it's a free bag trailer hmm. we could even push them a little bit more together and we could take three bags So yeah, it looks like I'm not going to be able to fit all four in. That's some strong bag. Let me see, can I squeeze it in? The answer is probably no, but I still have to try. I, I wanna, I need to know. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's not fine. <laughs> Let me just try something else. Let me softly push on the bag. I know you wouldn't do this, do this in real life because it would pierce the bag, but... Gently scoot it over. Oh, it's more on the trailer than off. <laughs> and let's try to get another bag right at the back. And I can turn it this way. So yeah, uh, please don't do this uh, when you're going on the road. 
Uh, this is a game. But yeah. <laughs> like a glove. Okay, this is some serious glovage. Yeah, I was looking if we could fit four bags uh, in the... If we turn them around, but I, I still don't think that would fit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a drive and a half. Put all the straps over. Let's go. How's the car feeling? The car is feeling okay. How's the trailer feeling? The trailer <laughs> feels okay. And we are on the road. I'm gonna take that straight to our big pen. And you know what? You know what? I have read that if you own this land that I was just looking at, um, let me stop the car. So if you own this land with the tanzin, you actually earn some residual income from the plot uh, renting. So let me try this. It's thirty-nine thousand pounds. Okay. Let's buy it, and let's see, has, every, has anything changed? Probably not, but I will check the money page, and if we have some miscellaneous income, that should probably be... Why do we have 7,000 miscellaneous? Okay, I'm not sure, but it should probably show under there. So yeah, we invested some of the crop money into land, which is always a good thing because land usually doesn't lose value. So uh, investing in buildings, investing in land is usually a good idea because uh, when the inflation hits uh, land values and building values, they all go up. So. It's actually a very safe investment. Okay, let me close so our pigs don't escape. Yeah, hello, you came to say hello. And let's try to unload this by hand because these are bags, we can simply tip, the, tip them in. And it should work nicely as I expected let me see uh, the porkers they have 6,000 liter of food and they should be good for some time I think because we only have 4 animals and they are all males so we are not gonna get any birth births any new piglets and yeah. But let me see how the worker is doing. Okay, he's getting near the end of the field. And I'm just gonna quickly take over and finish it. And then take him onto the next one. Let's close the pig pen. It's 
So yeah, if, if we actually get a field of corn to make maize silage, we could lease or buy a forage harvester. Which uh, is sounds like a fun thing to do. And we can then use it to make a bunch of silage out of a relatively small field. Okay, so let me quickly jump into the tractor at work. Okay, we have a lot of vehicles. Okay, so it looks like he, he or she, let me see. It looks like she's doing quite a good job. Most of the field is done. I'm just gonna have to fix some of the edges. And then next to, and then onto the next field. Okay, I'm making a final pass on this field to clean up the headland and then I'm gonna transfer to another field I'm gonna do that off screen I think this episode has run long enough ran long enough <clears throat> and uh, we got some new machines uh, we gave the cows uh, the bedding they needed and I really think I'm gonna go with the forage uh, forage harvester and the maize for actual silage so yeah but I'm thinking if I do silage off of this field there's gonna be so much I I, I won't be able to actually process it so it might be better to make it on another field on a smaller field and yeah even though it if we would make it on field 61 That's the field that we had oats in previously. <clears throat> uh, I think we still, even though it's you know it's a long way away, and the carting would be uh, a job, <laughs> if I say uh, softly, yeah. But it might be viable to do that. I would most likely put corn in the same field that was in the previous uh, in the previous season because it's uh, very close uh, to the bunker we can actually simply take it out and you know uh, cart it to the farm and it's not a long way to travel so this is probably what I'm gonna do uh, but if you have any suggestions please let me know you know write in the comments what you would do uh, what you have done in a similar situation and yeah we may have a chat about it and yeah with this i would like to thank you for watching i wish everything good for you and we'll see you in the next episode bye bye